Hey there rub -a dub subs it's Black Metal Werewolf making a brand new video for you this week. And this week is finally going to be a mail video. Uh, back in January when I opened my P.O. box, I've kind of been pumping it on Instagram, Facebook, and here. Letting you guys know that I do have a P.O. box, and that if you wanted to write me a letter or something, you could. And uh, after all this time, enough people have sent me a mail, enough mail to uh, get a nice little stack here to open it on camera. So you guys can see all the fun, cool shit that uh, people have written to me and sent me. So uh, let's get down to it. Let's open the first one. Alright, so start with this one. We'll start with the one with the JFK stamps all over it. It's pretty cool. Oh, it's, I really think they should uh, make stamps in the United States of JFK with like his brains all splattered out. I think that'd be pretty funny. Here we got a nice little letter here. From someone named Fernando, uh, age 19, who's from LA. Uh, I just wanted to thank you for your videos. I've been watching for a while. Well, thank you very much for watching my videos. Uh, I just like when negative things stir up in the male community, obviously. Uh, I just wanted to say that, uh, uh, I just wanted to say, uh, send you this small letter and thanks for keeping metal alive, uh, no problem. Thank you for sending me this letter to keep metal alive. Uh, and thank you for all the uh, album recommendations and warnings. No problem, I always like doing those. I'm glad people, I get a lot of messages actually, people saying, oh, I love the thing you recommended, thanks so much. And I always like doing those. Uh, I recommend you a YouTuber that goes by Infidel Amsterdam. I'm, I'm well aware of him, he's a cool dude. Uh, he has a huge collection of knowledge, obviously. That guy's uh, big for a reason. I uh, check out a band called Sadistic Intent. These guys were huge in LA, uh, death metal scene, back during the 90s, if I'm not mistaken. And if you ever get a chance to visit LA, they have some awesome record stores called Dark Realm Records. Both bassists and guitarists own that record shop. Oh, that's pretty cool. That uh, the band even owns their own record shop. Uh, anyway, I just wanted to say, uh, hey overall and keep uh, creating content. It's good stuff. Well, thank you very much once again. I'd like to send me an email. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to give your email there. Uh, P.S. Sorry for the message writing and laying stamps. I hope that gets uh, to you soon and in one piece. Uh, no problem, Mike. Uh, your writing is probably a hell of a lot better than mine. But thank you very much. And I also very much like the drawing you sent. May Odin stay by your side. That's very cool. Thank you very much, Fernando. I very much appreciate the letter. I just want to let you guys know that I'm going to be keeping all of these. If someone's going to take time to write me a letter, I'm going to hold on to them. Because how nice is that for somebody to actually spend time in writing me a letter? All right, this next one we have is from Norway. So let's open this baby up and uh, see. One of the most brutal countries ever from Norway. Oh, we got a letter. Oh, darn. I accidentally ripped the letter. Son of a bitch. Right, let's see if I can put this together. Greeting my, friends, uh, greeting my friend from the other cold north. <laughs> I stumbled upon your channel uh, a few weeks before Christmas last year, and you quickly became one of my favorite YouTubers. Thank you very much. When I watch your videos, it feels as you're talking directly to me because I can relate to almost every topic you speak of. I discovered the Metalhead box through you, uh, through your, and just received my first box. So thank you for showing me this awesome box. We share the same favorite uh, coffee mug, the Black Metalist Creek one, that's awesome. Anyway, uh, the reason for me writing you is because I made a new intro that I hope you like. Uh, I have put it in a USB stick following this letter. I hope you feel honored if you would use it and you could read this letter in a video. Much love from the from a huge Norwegian fan, Love Simonsen. P.S. Sorry for the bad English. Well, don't worry, your English is quite good, and I very much apologize for accidentally ripping your letter when I opened this. That was not my intent. And I will definitely be checking out what came in on this USB drive. So thank you very much from one great white north to the other great white north. All right, the next letter we have is from the United States from Daniel. So let's see if I can open this one without destroying the contents of the package. Once again, I very much apologize for ripping that last one. So after reading this letter, I realize this person wants to be pen pals with me, which I, I necessarily don't have an issue with. It's just that the, I'm not gonna read this one on camera because they share some uh, rather private details. I wouldn't feel comfortable reading that to everybody online. But uh, I do very much appreciate you sending me the letter, Daniel, and I most likely will be writing back to you. Just, uh, I hope we don't feel slighted that I'm not reading it on camera because that's, I think that would be rude and impolite. So I will not be reading it, but thank you very much for sending me this very nice letter. Up next, we have a letter from Las Vegas from, oh, I don't think I put their name on here, but let's open it up and see what they have to say. Dear Black Metal Werewolf, I am fucking loving your channel and most of your content. I would like to know your personal opinion on non-English speaking bands. That is, what language other than English do you like to listen from and the most metal music? Uh, keep up the great work, Philonox. 
P.S. I completely hooked on Annihilator, right? Right now. Uh, so I have to know, are you also a fan? Well, yes, first of all, I am a fan of Annihilator. And um, of, when it comes to non-English speaking bands, I don't uh, have like a bad opinion of it. It is just kind of hard for me to really get into a lot of non-English speaking bands because English is the only language I speak, right? So it's it's hard for me to get like the full impact if I can't understand what they're saying, but I still do enjoy listening to it. Um, when it comes to like what is my favorite like language to listen to other than English, um, to me it doesn't really matter. They as long as it sounds good, right? Uh, if it's like a really harsh language like German, I still think it sounds good to like uh, a more eloquent language like French. But uh, to me, as long as it sounds good, I enjoy it. So thank you very much for writing me this letter, and thank you very much for being a fan. Uh, I really appreciate it. So that looks like that's all the letters that were sent to me, but now let's open the packages. I got three packages here, it looks like people sent me CDs and stuff, so let's open them up and see. So this first one is from Sweden, from Josef. Okay, so it came with some CDs and a, uh, a letter with a very cool, uh, like, stamp mark with a pentagram on it. I hope you guys can see that if it'll focus. Anyway, let's open it up and see what this has to say. So the contents were a picture of a band here. Uh, I'm assuming it's the band they sent me called Revenge Prevails. And they sent me two albums here. One of them is uh, Black Void Injection and the other is Dark Trembling Solace. I if I remember correctly, I got a message from the person of this band. They asked me to review these and I will have no issue doing that. But right now I'm just opening them. So I will give these a listen and do a review of Revenge Prevails and see what these uh, guys are about. Looks pretty sweet. Up next, we have another package from Italy, I believe it is, from Angelica. So we got a CD from a band called Macabre. This look, uh, appears to be like a horror-themed uh, death metal band or something like that. So once again, another thing I will have a pleasure reviewing. I just have to listen to it, and I'll be able to give you guys my opinion on it. So thank you very much, Angelica, for this album. And it looks like we're down to our last package. This one's from Norway. So let's uh, open her up and see what we have inside. So upon opening this, it's a band called The Vorbid. I once again, I think they messaged me a while ago asking if I could do a review of their music. Uh, and upon opening it, there was a little note inside. Hope you like Thrash. Cheers from Norway. I do like Thrash and I'll be letting you guys know how Vorbid is. So that is all the mail I got for today. Uh, I really do appreciate it. I didn't expect so many people to send me so much cool shit. So overall, thank you everybody who has sent me a letter or has sent me one that I haven't received yet. I do really appreciate it. I can't believe uh, so many people have sent me letters wanting to get to know me, be pen pals with me. It's just so cool that this whole YouTube thing has, be, uh, has taken off the way it has and so many people want to send me this so much cool shit. So overall, thank you guys very much. You guys fucking rule. Uh, just before I close up this video, I wanted to let you guys know that uh, in my last video I did the update about how I want to get patches made, and they are being made. I just paid for the order this morning, so I'm going to say about two weeks-ish, give or take a few days, I should have patches available to sell. I will be selling them over my Instagram and official Facebook page, so uh, I'll give you guys more details when the patches finally get to me. But uh, just keep an eye out on that, because I can't wait to sell you guys, since so many people so uh, such an interest in getting the patches and shit. I can't wait to sell them and do more stuff with merchandise. So like my past videos, I either do an album recommendation or an album warning, and this one is no different. And this recommendation is the new Black Anvil album, As Was. If you guys haven't checked it out, you definitely should because it's a very good band. And it's just, it's a solid album and uh, get a chance to see them live too. I hear they're really good live. Unfortunately, I missed them when they came around. But I hear, I hear great things. So the band is Black Anvil, the album As Was. So that's it for today's video. If you like what you saw, don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave me a comment letting me know what you thought of today's video. And while you're at it, check out some of my past videos too. If you want to keep up with me on a more daily basis, you can follow me on Instagram. I'll be putting my Instagram name in the description. You can follow me on Facebook now, now that I have an official Facebook page. A link to that will be in the description. And if you would also like to write me a letter, you can. I'll be putting my P.O. box in the description also. Overall, thank you all very much for watching, and stay brutal.